So this is the cylinder we just casted and it is absolutely amazing. There are issues with it, which I will go over, but overall I think this is my best cast yet, which is great because I said the same thing about my last cast and there's definitely huge amounts of improvement between the two. And I'll also do a little comparison, but first I just wanna talk about this cast in isolation. Uh, it turned out really well, I think. The finish is consistent and terrific. There are no surface defects. The surface is smooth. The cooling fins look really great. The inside of the cylinder is really smooth and there, like I said, are, there are no surface defects. Almost all of the features casted perfectly. Uh, for example, the fins casted really well. There are a few spots where there were a few issues and uh, that's something I have to work on. Uh, but in general, the fins are really great. Uh, I'm going to compare the old cylinder to the new cylinder. So this is the old cylinder I casted last time. And like I said, this was at the time my best cast. Now this is, I think, even better. I don't know if you guys are able to tell, but what I did between the two is I essentially decreased the density of cooling fins on this face here. As you can see, there are a lot less cooling fins on the new version. And the reason I did that is because there was a lot of a lot of breakthrough between the fins and the metal filled in the spaces between. That still did happen here, but it's much less and much uh, less apparent in other locations as well, such as here. You can see uh, it's much better on the back side. There weren't really many issues on this one, but still it's, it's immaculate, very good. And especially in this location here, there are literally no issues whatsoever. Apart from that, the only thing that's really different is I added this little feature here that unfortunately did not cast perfectly. This is the exhaust port. And as you can see on the old version, it's just a hole inside of the cylinder, just on the side of the cylinder. And uh, I added uh, an, I added two mounting holes that I, I plan to tap. They're the same screw holes as uh, all of the other parts of the engine. But I added this because I may need to add some kind of muffler to have the engine work. I have no clue if that will be necessary, but just having this option to be able to add something that may increase back pressure to allow the engine to operate just gives me another place to experiment and to try to optimize and tune the engine in case it doesn't work the first time. Apart from that, the two intake, the air and fuel intakes for the cylinder still have issues casting. I think it is better. The holes did cast deeper than last time, uh, however, they didn't break through fully to the inside of the cylinder. So there's an issue with, with the casting process. I'm pretty sure what's happening is the metal is falling about one centimeter before it hits the, the investment that is in taking up the space of those holes there. And when it hits it, it probably is just breaking it. And that's probably what that piece is there. That's possibly what caused uh, the breakthrough there. Just investment breaking off from the mold resting at the bottom and um and just not casting properly so what i tried to do is increase the hardness of the investment this time i increased the water the the powder the investment powder to water ratio i also added boric acid which was a suggestion of a viewer and that did work if you look at how long and how hard it was for me to remove this cast from the plaster mold that is clearly evidence of um of a harder investment mold so I think that did help in some regards, just uh, to negate some of the effects of the metal hitting it from a high height of one centimeter, but still there are issues with those two holes and I will need to cast this again to make sure I can cast it properly. I'm not sure how I will get these holes to cast properly because they also did break. Uh, but overall, like I said, the quality is clearly better. There are less surface issues, surface defects. There was less breakthrough between the cooling fins because I decreased the density. And I am extremely happy with this. Like I said, I think this is my best cast yet, which is great because like I said, with the last cast, I said the same thing. But like, uh, I have a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get to it. And uh, hopefully the next one will work well and uh, I can move on to start to cast the other parts such as the crankcase, the crankshaft and all of that good stuff. But for now, that's it. This is Levi Sheridan. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it interesting, maybe learned something new. Have a great day.